When your Google Classroom is archived, it is still very much accessible. It is not deleted. For example, if on Friday I can see my James Period 1, Trimester 1, Biology Google Classroom, and I have students in it and assignments and everything I love about how I set this up, on Monday it will be archived. And now it's Monday. And as I look for the James Period 1, Trimester 1, Biology Google Classroom, None of these cards are that Google Classroom, but I remember that it's been archived and my archived classes are easy to find. In the upper left hand corner there are three lines which we call a hamburger. If I tap on those three lines it opens a column and at the very bottom of the column I can see the words archived classes. All of the classes in which I've been a student a teacher or a co-teacher can be found here. From the oldest to the most recent. Here it is, James Period 1, Trimester 1, Biology. Now knowing it's here makes me feel better because that's uh, going to be easy to find if I forget something or I want to locate something or reuse something. I have a choice too. These three dots, ellipses, will allow me to do a couple of things with this Google Classroom and one of those things is to restore it. If I would rather use this Google Classroom instead of the one that has been provided to me on Monday November 2nd I may do that. Keep in mind though that a teacher who chooses to do this will need to add her new students and remove students that are no longer in her class. To restore and bring it back to the main dashboard, just tap on the word Restore. Confirm by tapping Restore again. And then I'm going to leave the archived area by tapping on the hamburger and then tapping on the word Classes. And there is the class I had on Friday afternoon before the change from trimester 1 to trimester 2. Having chosen to use my trimester one uh, Google Classroom for the next trimester as well, I'll need to decline the district rostered Google Classroom that showed up Monday morning. I can also make another choice, however. If I do not restore the trimester one Google Classroom, I can choose to keep it in the archives and simply reuse materials and assignments. That task can be found in another video. Also, remember, if you are going to use your old one, you'll have to add or remove students that have changed in your roster.